My wife sent me to the store the other night to buy one light bulb for her reading light here next to the bed. Well, guess what? I got it figured out, but it took me almost an hour on the light bulb aisle. I'll explain in just a second. Alrighty, welcome back. Like I said, when my wife sent me to the big box store to, to get a light bulb, I had no idea what I was in for. Thousands of choices. There are red labels, purple labels, white labels, different sizes, different shapes, and uh, I kind of was taken aback. So we're gonna spend a, just a couple minutes talking about how to buy a light bulb. Now everything is an LED bulb. Light emitting diodes are everywhere. We have them for indoors, outdoors, flood lights, shop lights, reading lights, everything you want in an LED. So they're very economical and they last almost forever. So it's kind of neat, but there's some terms. You just can't go out and buy a 75 watt light bulb anymore because you want to light up your family room. It doesn't exist. Uh, what we do is we, uh, you got to read the label. So what, what are we looking for? Let's look at these things. Lord Kelvin was a science dude from way back when, and he discovered uh, temperature of light had different, um, it looked different to your eyes. And we use the term soft white. Uh, many of you, you, know, you want a soft white bulb for your family room or for reading in your bedroom. Uh, that's that yellowish hue, maybe an orange hue that, uh, you know, it's very soft, it's warm, it's inviting. And that is 2700 Kelvin on the Kelvin scale. And then as you see, as we go to the right here, we've got 3000 warm light and bright light. And here, I'll get out of the way for a second. All the way over here, 5000 Kelvin, exciting and crisp. That's 5000 Kelvin is that kind of like that surgery light overhead, big, bright, blue, blinding kind of light. That's a 5000 Kelvin. So we go from 2700 up to 5000 and say, well, I, you do know the difference. You've seen the difference every time you drive. Here's uh, my dash cam one night, <clears throat> actually early one morning, and you can see the different colors of headlights. That's the difference between 2700 and 5000. And you'll see white light and you'll see yellow light. Here's two trucks, one with amber or yellow or orange lights and one with bright white lights. That's Lord Kelvin at work. So you can see the difference. So if you're putting things up in your house and you have two different lights, they might be the same light with different temperatures on either side of your bed, but one is seemingly blinding you at night Why one is just a nice soft white. So keep that in mind when you're buying a light bulb. Kelvin, soft light, probably 2,700. Your garage, your workshop, your work area, probably more toward 5,000. Now, what about the amount of light? Well, we want, you know, again, your workshop, your garage, you want a lot of light. Um, maybe outside, your floodlights, you want a lot of light. You're going to want a lot of lumens. Lumens is how we measure the, the amount of light. How much light will it give off? And so we have this little chart back in the days of 40 watt bulbs. It was about 450 lumens that it's giving off. And you can see here again, I'll step out of the way. We go over here to the old 100 watt bulb. It's about 1600 lumen. So between 1600 and 450 is kind of what we're looking for for most situations in our house. So when we look at a chart, here we've got, remember the old incandescent bulbs? We don't want those anymore. Don't, they don't make most of them anymore. But you can see that if we want as much light as we can, let's say like the old 100 watt bulb, that's 1600 lumens. Come over here to an LED. It's only using about 20 watts of power. That's really good. You can see down here also, they say it's about 15 to 20 years of age that these things will, under normal use, that they'll last. But most of these are using nine to 20 watts of power. That is great for your electric bill. So LEDs are really the way to go nowadays. So when you're at the store, what are you looking for? I said you had to read the labels. Find one, find the shape that will fit your fixture, find the one that fits whatever you want, but then flip it over and read the label, the lighting facts. Few things. This one is suitable for wet locations. Some bulbs are okay for outdoors, some are not. You can use an outdoor bulb indoors, but you can't use an indoor bulb outdoors. Makes sense. And you'll notice this one is okay, it's dimmable. Some LEDs are okay on a dimmer switch, some are not. So you gotta make sure if you have a dimmer switch, you get one that's dimmable. But then let's look at those things. Where's Kelvin and lumens noted. Well, this one right off the bat, 
800 lumens. So that's kind of in the middle of that chart we were looking at. And then down here on this little scale, it says 2700 K Kelvin. So that's that soft white, that yellow light, amber light. That's what you're looking for in a nice, comfortable room setting. And this one over here, same amount of light, still 800 lumens, but it has 5000 Kelvin. So we have the same amount of light from two different bulbs, but one's going to be that blinding white blue surgical light, and one's going to be soft white, more comfortable and pleasing to the eye. So it just depends on where you're using these things. So next time you go to the store to buy a light bulb, think of Lord Kelvin, think of lumens, and then walk up and down that aisle and see why it's going to take you at least 30 minutes to buy one light bulb.